So as you can see here, it's pretty simple. So it's 2x squared plus 12x plus 7x is a factor. So this is part number two and uh, solve two. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back. This is part number two. Sorry, guys, but it seemed to like my computer died uh, and I lost the work. I didn't really I lost the work, I just died. So uh, for pause out math, we got is 2x squared plus 12x plus 7x is it a factor. Well, if we times a by c, we should get 14. We need to make sure that a plus b is equal to a times c. So it's a little bit weird, but whatever that this factor is, I need to times the 14, a and c, but I also need to add the 12. So where do we get that 12 from? Two times seven, two times seven. So this is a factor because where there you have it as a factor. Whenever you have a factor, a times C plus B. Other words. Words whatever times by a times c also sum so so in this case fourteen so this is how it's gonna like two x plus so two x square plus 2x plus 7x oh yeah this sorry guys but this must be let's just get rid of this x it says that it's going to be incorrect i'll make it uh an incorrect problem here which be a seven so, 2x squared, 2x squared plus 2x, let's start with this one, should be divided by 2x, so then that group of factors should be 2x, an x plus an x, right? Okay, now let's go to over to here. Let's write the next group. So an x plus seven. You gotta get rid of a seven. So we gotta get rid of a seven. X. And then it should be seven. X plus x. Now can you figure out this from here. Try to find zeros from here. That's today's math challenge. Can you find the zeros? Can you find the zeros? Well, okay. 
uh, yeah, next step will be, can you do, can you find is the factor? We'll give you 10 seconds. So find the factor as part number three. And then for part number four, find the actual series or solutions. Give you a little bit more time. Okay. Now, see, you got to do a 2x plus 7. X plus X, which we can even check our work. So if we did this correctly, 2x squared plus 2x <coughs> plus 2x plus 7x Seven. Yeah, thinking of right. This is what it should look like. So I could see that so we put that as a solutions. Solution should be two x plus zero dash be converted to two x so negative seven, which then should be uh, converted to negative seven or two. Okay, and then we got is x plus x. Some, uh -huh. I think we figured uh, figured out what was going on. Okay, so we figured out what's going on here. So let's see. Part number three, this is what our answer should be 2x plus 7. So, two, part number three is 2x plus 7 and x plus 1 as our factors. Now, part number four, set them to zeros. Part four, set them to zeros. So, how do we solve these zeros? A little bit of time, I would think. Okay, time is up. Okay, so how do you solve for these zeros? Well, so part four, so just need to do is this 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. You need to minus the 7 from both sides. And the equal sign, that should be 2x equals negative 7. This should be divided by 2. Make sure that you do that by both sides. And by 2. So x should equal to 7, 2. Okay, and then now on the other side, just have to do is x one. Other side, I do it is x plus one minus one 
Sats. Actually, thank you. One to five. You buy one to five. You buy one. Still, what you call x equals negative. So our solutions here. We are unequal solutions x negative one seven over two should be your answer. That's mathematically correct. Let's see if we got this correct. Let's go on to Desmos and see if we get this correct. Well, this, I'm uh, glad I did check this out, but I just think that it wasn't correct because let me show you. Right solutions are totally irrational. Uh, so here, let me actually do new share. So let's do this new share towards my Desmos. To share it. So, let's see, the red is what I actually made up as the graph if you sketch it. So, let's see. This right over here is this negative 0 0.655. 0 0.655. Let's see. Our one is the solutions, and then another one is negative 5.345, comma 0. But if we do it with a factor it has, then blue. Factors one zero, other factors three point five. So let's think on the factoring right now. Uh, but we will get it fixed. Well, as you can see, it's parallel with each other. <laughs> so I gotta say that I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> okay. Well, so. Always good to kind of go back to Desmos and try it out. But what I do know, if you look it up for right here, do we have where uh, if it's 5x cubed plus 7x squared plus 1. This is what we're talking about in the math class. As you can see, to minus one, down, up, there. Let's see, Let's see, I changed this to a positive. Mm. No, that does not change. Interesting. The make it a six. Does not change. That is totally, totally interesting. But what's the, let's try to make it, where is this? And if it's zero, then like this. Interest. Holy cow. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, but let's see. We know another thing. So, uh, which one is bigger? 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. x squared plus 2x minus 1. Or does 
zero point seven five plus two x minus one. Uh, the that will be the smart one because. So that being incorrect. So if it's the smaller one, 0 0.75 being incorrect. As you can see in the purple, it's the smaller, and black, it's the bigger one. So if you have is a big number, you should always have a small. Yeah. If you have is a smaller number, you should always have is a bigger if ready. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I try to get myself hanging up into this. Uh, let's get going. Yeah, here we go. So that's how you did that kind of math. So guys that and uh, tomorrow we'll be talking about cubics well this week we're going to be talking about cubics so just make sure to pay attention to that uh because we'd be doing this in cubics okay that is the pause uh if you're teaching and correction uh now let's go and let's try to end this pause around episode Well, thank you for watching, but we got a few announcements here. Don't miss out on the special show Memorial Pause at 9 a.m. for 9-11 on 9-11. Uh, games this week is the Mustangs uh, this Friday at 7.30. Georgia Tech is this Saturday at 12 p.m. Tigers' first game for Horizon League is at 2 p.m. on 9-11. Uh, that's Friday. It's the first episode of Pause or Alarm. And then Pick Shoot 3 is this weekend. Okay.
Thanks for watching.